Okay, so we are doing our um, project on IC card readers, and this is what we got. Um, contactless smart card reader, um, and actually, it, this is contact and contactless. Um, inside the box was the program, and all the manuals are on here. Um, the IC cards and the card reader. Um, IC card has an embedded integrated circuit. It requires contact. This is contact. Um, also requires a pin for use, and it's this makes it more secure than RFID because people can't just you know come by and steal your information. Um, so we got this in the mail. Um, you have to use it on a Windows machine, uh, an older version um, operating system. So. We use Windows Vista, put it in the machine, and we followed the instructions, went to the README file, and um, we had to download MySQL, uh, set up a connection between the server and the card reader, and I think that's it. We're good to go. And now we set up the MySQL workbench to establish our database. The good thing about this product is it came with pre-built tables. And if you follow me here, I'm going to actually establish one of the database tables on the local host. So I open the local host. I go to File, Open SQL Script. Now, the file is located in Program Files, Advanced Card Reader System, LTD, ACR28, Multi-Application Demo File. And you see the dot sql file i know it's a sql file because of the extension i open it now you see the the script and the semicolon behind each sentence lets you know that that it's going to execute now you come here and you run the script and watch the database create if you see the output right here, it's actually creating the table. Great. Now, to make sure that you, your tables have populated, make sure you go to the ACR128 demo table, which is located here. Now, it comes with the cafeteria menu table, the employee table, the stocks table, the tools table, and the transaction table, transaction log table. So these are basically logs to uh, manage the cafeteria system for employees. So now we're actually going to the, the demo. And this is where the, um, the IC card really works. You have to make sure that the connection between the database and the um, what is it? database and the demo work. So our server is localhost database is ACR128 demo on port 3306 and the username and password is both uh, root. Test the connection, test connection successful. Good. Now we've already pre-established the table with a few um, few data already. So Right here is the admin cards, these two are the admin cards. And the only way you can alter this database is with these two cards. So now in we can set aside uh, two cards for the admin. So we're going to set up the admin. We already did it, so we're just going to show you here. So we um, look at the view employee, and we put in the passcode. The name of the employee, the admin, is Tom Jones, employee ID 74. Passcode is 1234. Now, we've already created only two fields in this database. One is Tom Jones, the admin, and we created one for the employee, Linda Terry. Now, the fields or the columns for uh, this database is first name, last name, middle initial, address, 
access level. But also, that's not on here is the amount of money they're allocated. And you can see that when you create a new employee. You have their first name, middle initial, last name, address, passcode, and initial amount. And this is for a particular cafeteria system. They're allotted a certain amount of money. They use it. They reuse it. And then, of course, access level. We set ourselves as admin and everybody else as employee, employee. And also, um, when an employee comes into the office, they can also time themselves in for security purposes. So we use Alinda's card. She signed in her time card at 9.44 p.m. Yeah.